There are some seemingly awkward questions which need to be answered clearly, honestly and correctly. Period sex is one of them. Is it good? Bad? Can it cause infections? Are there any chances of pregnancy? So let's talk about this topic today. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Anjali Kumar, once again bringing greetings to you from Maitri. Maitri is a space where we talk anything and everything about women's health. So unless it troubles you, there is no need to avoid sexual activity during your period. Though period sex can be a little messy, it is safe. It may even have some benefits. So what are the benefits? Number one, relief from cramps. Menstrual cramps happen as your uterus is contracting to release its lining. So, the uterus is contracting to release its lining. When you have an orgasm, the muscles of your uterus also contract and then release. Now, that release can bring some relief from the period cramps. Plus, engaging in the sexual activity occupies your mind, which may help take it off your menstrual discomfort too. Second, relief from feeling of sadness and depression in some people. Sex triggers the release of feel-good chemicals called endorphins, oxytocin and dopamine which make you feel good and relaxed. Shorter periods. Having sex may make your periods shorter. Muscles contractions during an orgasm push out the uterine contents faster which could result in shorter periods. Increase sex drive. Your libido changes throughout your menstrual cycle thanks to the hormonal fluctuations. While many people say that the sex drive increases during ovulation, which is about two weeks before your periods, some people report feeling more turned on during their periods because the vagina and the vulva are swollen with blood during menstruation. And because of that, some people might have heightened sensitivity, which can make the sex more pleasurable. Natural lubrication. Blood acts as a natural lubricant and it may make things easy. But remember to use a barrier method of contraception always. If you still need a lubricant, then a water-based lubricant is more safe both for the sex and for the condoms. Silicone and hybrid lubricants, which are water-based and silicone-based, are likewise safe both for the sex and the condoms. While oil-based lubricants, especially mineral oil-based lubricants, can deteriorate and spoil the condoms, increasing the risk of breakage and are not recommended with latex condoms. It might relieve migraine attacks too. Now, many women find their migraine attacks more common during your periods. While some studies say that period sex can partially or completely reduce migraine and cluster headache pains for many. What are the possible side effects of period sex? The biggest downside to having sex during period is the mess. Blood can get on you, your partner and the sheets, especially if you have heavy flow. It can make you feel anxious, self-conscious. So a better communication is the key. Be open and honest with your partner. Tell them how you feel about having sex during periods and how do they feel about it. The biggest and the serious risk is the risk of transmitting a sexually transmitted infection like hepatitis and HIV. Remember, the virus lives in blood and may be transmitted through contact with the infected menstrual blood. So make sure to use a barrier method of contraception, male or female condom, dental dams depending upon the type of sexual activity you are having. Also the cervix is slightly open during the period allowing the virus to, pour, to pass through easily. You may also be more prone to some infections in general at this time because of the pH change during periods. So your vagina maintains a pH level of 3.8 to 4.5 which is an acidic pH throughout the month. But during menstruation that level rises and makes the pH more alkaline and so because of this higher alkaline pH levels the yeast and many infections might grow more rapidly. 
Also, the risk of getting a bacterial vaginosis is also higher with period sex. Also, there is dreaded UTI. Some women can be more prone to having urinary tract infections after intercourse. So this is most likely related to bacteria being able to easily travel to the bladder with intercourse, but it may happen at any point during the menstrual cycle too. Also for the male partner, vaginal penile sex can also spread yeast infection to the male partner, causing the head of the penis to become inflamed this is known as balanitis. Another risk, if you are wearing a tampon, you need to remove it beforehand. A forgotten tampon can get pushed so far up into the vagina during the sex that you may actually have to go to the doctor to have it removed. And obviously, the menstrual cup users need to remove their cup before the sex. Can you get pregnant with period sex? So if you are not actively trying to conceive, definitely use a barrier method of contraception like a condom. It's a good idea no matter what part of your menstrual cycle you are in. Your odds of conceiving are much lower during your periods, but it is still possible to become pregnant at this time. So let's understand this a little better. The fertile period is around ovulation. The ovulation happens 14 days before periods. This means it will happen on day 14 in a 28 day cycle. It will happen on day 11 in a 25 day cycle and will happen on day 8 in a 22 days cycle. So in a woman who has a shorter cycle, for example, a 22 day cycle, few sperms may still be present in the tract to fertilize the egg, which is getting released on day 8. Also consider the fact that the sperms can stay alive in your body for up to 7 days. Also in women, the length of the menstrual cycle may change any time due to hormonal reasons, PCOS, stress, thyroid disorder, etc. making the possibility of an early ovulation and possibility of a unplanned pregnancy. Remember, there is nothing shameful or dirty about having your period and about having sex. It's totally natural and there's nothing wrong with having period sex. The bottom line is to make sure that both you and your partner are comfortable with the situation. So today, like always, if you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and like and subscribe to Mehr3 because true knowledge is power.